Okay, this is Bob Kramer in uh, Kramer's Garage. Um, I just wanted to show you how to compress the springs in a motorcycle fork. So this is the fork tube from a 1980 Goldwing. Uh, this is the top spring, the bottom spring is already in. This is the cap, I put a new O-ring on it. And uh, the cap is marked and the fork tube is marked to show uh, where the thread starts so I know where to push that down to get the thread started quickly. Now, uh, I'm holding the fork in a vise with a plastic collar around it to protect it. It's in a pipe vise. And I've made a uh, fork spring compressor from a 2x4. So as you can see, I've cut a partial hole in that 2x4. Uh, that hole is for a different size fork. Okay. And we simply hook the rope around the back of the vise. Fit the cap into the hole. Line up the black marks. And then I can simply compress the spring, hold it straight, as straight as possible. Press that down. It should go all the way in. Try to make sure it's straight. And then rotate it with channel locks while pressing down. The 2x4, the closer to level it is, the easier it is to get that cap started without cross-threading. Then gently release that 2x4, make sure the cap is started, and there we go. The spring is in, the cap is on, it's compressed. Now you'll find some forks that aren't that difficult to uh, compress the spring. You can simply do it with your hand. But some of them are virtually impossible to compress by hand. 